poll question today, Seaton. What do we have? Uh, well, we could start off with uh, a huge return oh, yeah. last night. Your initial reaction to Ja Morant returning from suspension was, hell yeah, or oh yeah. I hell yeah oh yeah I I have to be honest I didn't I didn't know he was coming back like I I think it kind of snuck up on me where it's like uh oh John when's he coming back tonight I went oh okay he had 34 first game back from his suspension they were down 24 points and then he hit the game winner as time expired by the way they keep a stat for everything his 34 points were the most in league history by a player coming back from an absence of at least 25 games. <laughs> okay. Woo! Ow! Stat of the day! Stat of the day! Stat of the day! Stat of the day! This is the stat of the day! Now, it didn't say coming back from a suspension of 25 or more games. It just said coming back from an absence. So it could have been an injury, and then they're going to ease you back in. Jaw's not injured. Uh, he had this to say. Uh, well, here's the question, and then Jaw Morant's answer. Ja running off the floor, uh, someone caught you on camera saying, I keep receipts. Yeah. Can you elaborate on that? And secondly, what was your I meaning? feel like it's self-explanatory. Yeah. I remember everything that was said. And secondly, what was the meeting with Commissioner Silver like? Pretty much just, you know, a cordial meeting. He was basically telling me, you know, he was excited to, you know, uh, be able to have me back playing. Um, told me to say, you know, enjoy the moment um, and just, you know, stay locked in. Um, I actually, you know, plan on talking to him more often, you know, even though I'm back playing. Um, just to, you know, continue to build that, you know, relationship with him. Yeah, I think you want to say, by choice, I plan on talking to the commissioner a whole <laughs> lot more. You don't want to just leave that out there. And uh, unfortunately, I plan on talking to him a lot. Also, if it's self-explanatory, then why was the question asked about keeping receipts? Yes, yeah, Seaton. By the way, I don't know, not to nitpick here, but I don't know if you're a dude who got in a bunch of trouble for waving guns around all over the place, your first big soundbite shouldn't be, yeah, I remember what all of you said. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Nobody had a problem with jaw on the court. It's jaw off the court. And we want him on the court. And I think there were a lot of people with cautionary tales with John Morant. So if he wants to have a chip on his shoulder and wants to make this about the media, go ahead. You wouldn't be the first and you won't be the last. But this is all about you. Not about us. Because I didn't read much or hear much where anybody said negative things about when John Morant is on the court. It was, John, you're throwing away your career. John, you need to have some help around you. Yes, Eden. Yeah, I mean, were there people that were like, get this guy out of the league. He shouldn't deserve to play. I don't know. Maybe there were. There may be. Maybe there there might have been. Yeah. Um, but I, a lot of people just seemed to be like, it wasn't about like people tearing him down. It was more people commenting, trying to get him to not tear himself down. Yes. Yeah. But in his mind, and who knows what's in there, he might feel like the victim here. People picking on me. It's not a big deal what I did. And uh, that's why I kept receipts. I was surprised that that was his response. I thought he would be a little bit more humble. Hey, I'm thankful to be back. Uh, I love basketball. I, I'm a, appreciative to a commissioner who able, was uh, enabling me to come back and play. I, you know, I played pretty well, felt a little rusty, whatever. I mean, ease into this. It's not. He's like, hey, I kept receipts. Good. What does that mean? Marvin, you have a problem with John keeping receipts or at least telling us he's keeping receipts? What, us telling him not to throw his life away? Yes. How dare we? Yeah. How dare we? Perish the thought. I want to see greatness. I want to see people be able to play and just stay on the court. That's it. You know? How about we don't do a live you know, Instagram where you're holding a gun and then we don't do it again? So simple things. I mean, I don't ask too much anymore with athletes. That, yeah, a little bit of a problem with that. You get on the court, love watching him. Yeah, yeah, smart. And our thing was, this was all self-inflicted. It wasn't like somebody put out a video of him or somebody was sneaking behind his back. He was doing this you himself. Know. Yeah, his boy like, was doing it. It was like, hey, uh, look at that. His, his boy put the <laughs> phone down to try to help you. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Hey, be careful. He's going to keep receipts here. Yes, Paul. You know, I, 
I watched this whole game, and again, I, I, the NBA, I'm sure they didn't luck into this one. They planned this as soon as he gets done with the suspension. John Morant, you got him against Zion Williamson, national TV, TNT. I was struck by how great he looked right off the bat and how benign Zion Williamson looks as a player in comparison. Well, they didn't schedule this game just so he could play against Zion. They they had the game nationally televised. Right. So it's not like they go, hey, Jaw's going to come back and we're going to have him play against Zion. It was, he's coming back. And that's the game he's going to be playing in. What really stood out is when I'm, you're watching it, you're like, man, Ja looks like he didn't miss a game. And Zion looks like a nice player out on the court who was a formerly explosive player. I don't know. Is he keeping receipts of everything that's been said about him? I will give him a, a receipt. Maybe he should. Maybe he should be a little anger. I, and maybe, you know, once again, you're trying to figure out somebody who's, what, 22, 23, 24 years of age. In fairness to them, they have their money. They already made it. They won the, lo- they won the uh, lottery. What's the motivation that they have? And not everybody is like Kobe or, you know, Steph or Larry or Magic. Not everybody's like that. They're not wired like that. They have, they have success. What is Zion Williamson's motivation? Now, you could say what, if you're, you know, a grown-up, you might go, well, he wants to be great and be one of the greatest of all time. I don't know that. I think he's just going to be a good player in the league. Then he's going to get a max deal, but I don't know if he cares about being great. I I think Jaw wants to be great. I do. When he's out there, I really think that he's got a chip on his shoulder. Zion went to Duke. He was an internet uh, sensation when he was, you know, 15 years of age. He doesn't make the highlights. And you watch him and you almost have to go, oh, that's right, Zion plays on the Pelicans. But you watch Jaw, you know Jaw's there. There's no mistaking that. He's there. Yes, Eaton. It's like the it's like we want Zion to care more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's I'm not saying that he doesn't care, but you know, I could totally see how, you know, I made it to the I made it to the NBA. I hit the lottery like I I've I've already won. Yeah. I've already won at life. I got a seventy five million dollar sneaker deal. What what are you talking about? I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, and I think Ja, this is going to even fur, like fuel his fire even more after the suspension, the keeping receipts. Whatever it takes for you to become the best you can be, I think this is what's going to uh, fuel Ja for sure. Yeah, but he's going to turn off a lot of people by talking about how you know people said these things. Now, now, if somebody said, we don't need this in the NBA, well, you don't need this in the NBA. I mean, it's not like somebody goes, you know, we need to have some guns in the NBA. Not everybody. But these are two offenses that he had. And I think everybody, it felt like, they want to see him out there on the floor. It, if that was the case, then they didn't like him. Then you'd be a groundswell of he shouldn't be allowed back. He should be suspended for a year. Okay, you want to keep those receipts? Great. But I would think the majority of people who are sports fans want to see John Morant be able to go out and play. Right? I do. You know, if he's a knucklehead off the court, you know, that's his parents or his dad or the Pelicans or the uh, uh, Grizzlies need to worry about that. Not me. But when he's on the floor, then, you know, I get to enjoy that. I get to see somebody who's a special player. Yes, Mark. When someone says, when someone uses the term keep receipts, are they just asking for it? Like, all right, Robert Sala said we're keeping receipts at one point, too. Who knows? what you know he's processed or he's been told and maybe there's other things that happened in fairness to him saying he's keeping receipts it's just you don't have to tell me you're keeping receipts you don't especially coming back hit the game winner it should be a positive man i love this game i'm so thankful i get an opportunity to play i get paid to to do this i mean these are things that i look at and say that's sort of logical it does anybody say to him Hey, when you go into that press conference, you know what? How about some humility there? You know, how about we ease back into it? Not, you know, fire and brimstone and, you know, I'm keeping receipts. But that would have been my approach to it. If I had his ear, I'd I'd go in and say, hey, you know, throw yourself on the mercy of the court here. Not the basketball court, the court of public opinion. Let them talk about how great you are. Try that. If, you know, his approach, I don't know if he's listened to anybody anyway. Yes, Marv. Is it difficult because 
we're talking about this, but in regular life, he's 23, 24 years old. Is it difficult for him just to not want to lash out at everybody that's been talking about him? Because I'm sure he lives his life on social media like everyone else at that age. And I'm sure he's been seeing the comments and the hearsay and the commentary from everyone else about his behavior and stuff like that. Do you think that's just one of those things where no matter what somebody said to him, he had to blurt that out and had to say, I was keeping receipts? I don't understand, you know, what makes him tick. But, you know, once again. I've already said what my approach would be on this, and you would hope by the, you know these last couple of months where he's not playing that you're doing some you know deep dive, understanding who you are. How did you get to this point? Like at some point, you can't be sitting there blaming everybody when you're sitting down for 25 games. You have to go, okay, how about some perspective here, or somebody help me understand what am I missing here? But you know, Dion was you know keeping receipts, Robert Sala keeping receipts. Like, okay. How'd that work out for those two this year? Yes. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's funny because when, it, when I first heard and saw the quote last night, I just kind of rolled my eyes, you know? But now the more that we sit here and talk about it, the more I hate it that he said that because it's like, come on, dude. That's not – just happy to be back. I, I appreciate that he gave us the content. Oh, I yeah. really do. I, I'm Absolutely. very thankful for that. Yeah. But as a, you know, that same like humanity part of it, it's like, I don't know what you really learned then if what you took away from this was. And I think that's really the haters wrong. You that's know? the key phrase there. What did you learn during this? And I don't know if somebody asked him that. I would have asked, that would be one of my first questions. What did you learn about you in this time off? And especially since he got in trouble with all the guns and they were like, hey, don't do the guns thing anymore. And he was like, all right, no problem. And then like a week later, he's on Instagram live showing guns again. And you're like, dude, they just said to you, don't do that anymore. It's not that hard. (laughs) Uh, So that's the poll question we're going to go with. Anything else? Uh, I I think we should run with that one. With John Moran? Yeah, I think we go with John Moran. Okay. Uh, So give me the... the, We can also say John Moran keeping receipts is (laughs) just motivation or kind of misguided. What was the other uh, John Moran question? Uh, Your initial reaction Uh, to John Moran returning from suspension was, hell yeah or oh yeah. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. yeah, Paul. Oh, yeah, is a good answer. I like that I've heard nothing about him for six months. That means nothing went wrong the past six That's months. That's a great point. Yes, Todd. And when you call someone or a group out, we're all just waiting. If if and when he screws up again, hopefully he won't in some way, shape, or form, that's going to just be played over and over again that he's calling people out for what they said about. 